back with a fucking review. And last night I watched Flesh Blanket from 2018. Um, a selfish filmmaker fails at creating the cutting edge freedom of speech documentary he had envisioned and inadvertently unleashes holy hell from a 500 pound comedian on the verge of a nervous breakdown. A big fat dose of nightmare fuel for the politically correct. And yeah, if anyone is a fucking little sensitive snowflake, they definitely need to stay the fuck away from this movie. God damn. <laughs> um, the only name I recognized in this whole thing was Cato Kalin. And like, I don't even know what he does, to be fucking honest with you. If he's a comedian or some shit, I just know the name from somewhere. Um, yes, his attempts at being funny were okay, but definitely not one of the strong points in this movie. Um, a motherfucker, what's his name? Ramsey Moore. That's the 500 pound comedian they're talking about. And, uh, yeah, this movie gets dark. It's. It wasn't what I was expecting at all. I was expecting uh, the title Flesh Blanket and not reading up about the movie at first. I was expecting some kind of gore flick with a dude making a fucking blanket out of his victims, but I was wrong. <laughs> so, what was it? It was like 86 minutes. The first 20 minutes are kind of funny. It's just all the comedians gathering together, getting ready for the tour, or the, the big show. And, like, I almost turned it off because I was like, what the fuck, man? I don't want a fucking comedy. I want some fucking gore. But I left it on anyways. And then after the 20-minute mark, shit starts to get a little, a little darker. You start to see... Uh, Parts of Ramsey's attitude come to light, but nothing major. They just start talking about like what comedy means to them and shit like that. And that's when he just fucking goes off talking about how, as a comedian, I have the right to jo talk about raping my sister and getting away with it because it's comedy type of stuff. <laughs> He's right, man. Like, the best comedians are the fucking really nasty ones, so... Can't really argue with him there. And then he goes off to say some other shit that I'm not gonna say because one little snowflake could come across this video and try and get me cancelled. Fucking losers. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> Is it, man? Like, Gramsy isn't for the little sensitive bitches out there, that's for sure. Kinda like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, like, 20 minutes in, starts to get a little dark and depressing, and then another, like, 20 to 23 minutes go by, and that's when shit really starts to hit the fan. He just fucking snaps. People start going missing. Um, they do show what happens. I just don't want to say anything and spoil it. Um, but yeah, like, his performance was, was incredible. Um. It felt, it actually felt like an actual documentary for the most part. There's some things that you're like, yeah, okay, this definitely ain't real, but it definitely felt it, and I loved it. Like, despite being a little disappointed it wasn't a gore flick, it made up for that with how dark and depressing it got at times, and it was just amazing. Um, read off some of the other names cause just because I don't know them doesn't mean you won't uh, Alicia Becker Brandon Calhoun Denise Carroll Han Cho Christina DeRosa Scott Fabry Brandon Graham who also directed this film uh, Mark S. Graham Amanda Harrison Rich Hassan Adam Lee Hoyle Adam Hunter uh, Cato Kalin, Lee Knutson, Dina LaFerre, 
Dave Levin, Shelly Michelle, Ramsey Moore. Uh, there's some other people as well. Um, unless they were going by fucking nicknames. Uh, or was it Adam Hunter? But there is a pretty cool fight between Ramsey and another comedian. And also when they introduce Ramsey's dad into the whole mix. Like that was around I think like the 20 to 30 minute mark. That's when Ramsey really starts to get dark and angry, and it was just fucking fantastic. Uh, the flick is available on Amazon Prime for free streaming right now. Um, I've had some other friends tell me it's on Tubi as well, but if you don't want to watch it with commercials, throw it up on Prime. Uh, at least Canadian Prime it's on. Uh, and I definitely recommend giving this one a watch, folks. Just... Like I said, don't go in expecting gore. Even with the cover of the film, it makes it look like a gore flick. But, like I said, it is what it is. It definitely had horror elements to it. And with how dark and depressing it got, I don't want to keep fucking saying that, but I can definitely recommend it to people who like the films that I like. Um, got some good little bits of sleaze in there, too. Um, there is one part I'll give a, a little spoiler I won't say who gets it done to them but he does fuck one of the chicks and then suffocates her with his gut and that is just like it, they show it too it's just it's ridiculous and amazing and it just made the film so much more fun like it's fucking great guys it's a free watch on Prime and Tubi. Give it a fucking chance, folks. Stay sleazy. Peace.